All right, guys. So we're getting ready to go camping uh, this week. So I want to show you real quick what we're going to be camping in. This is my 2013, I don't know if you can see it, uh, Ford Escape. And I'm going to show you a really quick and easy no build camping um setup so stay tuned all right so we got the seats laid down so as you can see I've got a pretty huge gap right here. Okay, so because of the gap, I don't really do uh, anything fancy um, with this, but to come to um, combat the, the gap problem, I am just gonna use these cushions that came out of my, my camper. And we're gonna put them in here first I just, the only thing is, is I don't remember how I had them. I think I laid it like that. And then, yeah. And then I just laid this bottom piece here. Okay, let me show you the close-up view. So, I just took these two cushions that were on, that were in my camper. And I just put the short one here, put the long one here, bam. Now, it's pretty straight across the back it does stick out a little bit right here but it'll be all right the uh, lift gate will still be able to close And this is just one of those um, cheaper, I think this is just the twin size that I got at Walmart. The, the Ozark Trail. So now, hold on. All right, so now that we've got our air mattress blown up, I'm just gonna slide it in here like this, and then I'm just gonna put my sheet on it. like I usually just push the bed over to one side and then I still have this side over here for like my well I'll move this this um seat belt but anyway um I can put my 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 cooler my toiletries uh my shower bag whatever uh right in here and just have my bed over to that one side. And so I'll show it to you once I get everything in here. I'll show you the, the final setup. But because of this space right here, I'm able to put a few extra items. Um, I don't think I'm taking a big cooler on this trip because I'm only going to be gone one night. Um, but I will definitely will be putting my clothes and my... my um, my film my camera bag and my shower bag all right in this little this little space here so because the bed is pushed see all the way up against 
that other side over there. So it, it actually works out really well. Okay, so this is my, my big orange tote. And I just kind of want to show you, like, you could put a tote here. Uh, it would be kind of tight, but you could definitely do it. Or a big cooler. But I'm probably just going to leave this tote here because it does have um, a few extra things uh, that I might need. It does have my air pump and my hammock and my my window shades in case I decide to use those. I do have these reflected car covers that I made, but... I won't need those where I'm going, but I'm just gonna keep everything in there so that it all stays together. All right, so the only issue really that I have with this setup is that you kind of have to force the back hatch closed. And once you close it, you can't open it. <laughs> um, you gotta keep it closed. So you'll have to crawl out either from the the side here or I usually just crawl in to the front seat. So that's that's really kind of the only uh it's the only drawback about having this setup is that the bed you kind of have to squish it in, you just kind of have to force it shut. But it will shut. You just got to got to force it. But still have like I said some room over here for extra items. And like I said, I'm probably just going to keep this orange tote in here because it does have all of my bedding and whatnot in there. And that way everything will stay together. Okay, well, since I already uh, closed the back hatch, um, I'm just going to kind of crawl in here and I'm just going to show you real quick. This is just another uh, one of the cheaper sleeping bags at Walmart. And obviously you can use whatever bedding that you want. Um, if you're gonna be camping in colder climates, obviously you want something that's 30 degree or below, which I think this one is, um, or maybe the, the zero degree bags or the mummy bags if you're gonna be somewhere where it's gonna be super, super cold. But where we're going, it's supposed to be in the 50s at night. So I may not even need this, but um, I do. But this is going to be my main uh, sleeping blanket here. And then I'm just going to throw my, my yoga mat back here. Um, I do have an extra blanket. And I'll, like I said, I'll just put everything. It's really nice having that nice big tote because I can just throw everything in there. And it keeps it all organized. Anyway, I was going to show you. This is how I can lay down back here. I um, have a body pillow on this side and then i just have this little pillow here and i'm actually pretty comfortable as you can see my feet are i can actually stretch out uh right here pretty pretty cool huh and um i can't quite sit up but um i can kind of <laughs> kind of crouch and kind of sit but but yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, and it's, I'm probably going to have to roll the windows down a little bit. Um, but I do have some, um, some netting, uh, that go, covers that go over the window. Um, if I was going to be, um, living in something like this full time, um, or even part of the time, and I was going to be traveling. Um, I would pr probably use this space right here for like my clothes and my shoes and things because it would be really perfect uh, to just have right here. And let me slide out the sleeping bag and I'll show you. So like I can actually put my feet down here and then, you know, I could put my socks and shoes on right here and it would actually, it would actually work out pretty well. And uh yeah i think i could probably dig that what do you think i could probably definitely do that i just the height <laughs> can't really move around too much in here but anyway uh i'm gonna uh lay back here for a little bit and do a little bit of work and enjoy the the breeze <laughs> 